No, the lines are still down in Laurel. How's Bobby? She fell asleep before her head hit the pillow. Which is just as well. I don't know how much longer I can keep the truth from you. Try to contact the airport? Oh, yeah. I told them that it was an extreme emergency and that it was police business and that we needed to connect from New York to Laurelton immediately. What the hell are we gonna do, Jake? We got to warn her. Well, the hurricane's still on our side. You said so yourself. As long as it keeps Kevin away from Terry. I know, but no one has talked to Terry since yesterday. How do we know that he hasn't gotten to her? How do we know that she's safe? We don't. All right, that's it. We tell Anna what's going on. I agree. We tell Anna. You know, I am sure that Lucy Coe was burning clothes in that stove first today. We show Anna the page we found. Where's Felicia and Tanya? They went back to bed. I hope to God we can reach Anna in this hurricane. What's that, operator? This connection is terrible. I'm trying to get through to Laurelton, the Talbot residence. Yes, it's an emergency. You telling me that every line in Laurelton is down? I heard about the storm lady. I just want to get a line through there. Surely there's one line empty. How long do you expect a line to be free? You told me that an hour ago. Jake, we can't wait any longer. We gotta get to Anna it's right now. It's more important to take care of Terry and make sure she's safe. Listen, we'll try to reach her at headquarters. Anna has to have access to some special phone line. All right, we may as well try. I'm certainly getting nowhere here. Going somewhere, gentlemen? Yeah, to find you. Good, because apparently we have an awful lot to discuss. Anna, you don't know the half of it. But I intend to find out if you're going on this too, are you? Up to my ears and sinking fast. Lucy Co is not what she seems to not be. Not by a long shot, Anna. Well, neither are you two. I thought you were my friends. Not to mention law-abiding citizens. You have no right to break into Lucy Co's apartment. Now, you know that. And I just hope that you're not withholding information and a murder investigation. We wanted to be sure. How dare you keep me in the dark? How dare you? All right, I want answers and I want them now. Finding that key in Kevin's bathroom is what kicked the whole thing off. Connecting it to Lucy's back door was just a stroke of luck. Both the back door and Ke that key that I found has a letter B printed on it. Then we turned into the medical library completely upside down trying to find that mutilated page. And when Lucy testified that she saw Kevin fold over... I was in Lucy's place yesterday just after she had incinerated some clothes. Frisco and I have more than just a hunch that those clothes were those sexy clothes that Red Flynn was talking about that he saw in that girl at the airport. Jake found the missing page behind some wallpaper in the attic. Here, take a look where it's highlighted. Double Jeffrey. Talk about a smoking gun, huh? It means that Kevin can't be tried twice for killing Jennifer. Perfect crime. We have to get Terry back here to Port Charles immediately. Without arousing Kevin's suspicions. Oh, well, that's going to be easy. Take a guy's wife from him without him knowing about it? Well, we're in luck there. Kevin is not in Laurelton. He's not going to be back for several days. Well, how the hell are we going to get down there with the hurricane? Well, we, we can phone Laurelton and we can warn Terry. No, we can't do that either. All the phone lines in Laurelton are down. I tried all afternoon. Well, the special police line might not be down. I'll try calling the sheriff in Laurelton. The sheriff? You were going to contact him. He hasn't been a big help for us in this. But he might be when he knows who the real killer is. The sheriff isn't a threat to Terry. Her husband is. We've got to get to Terry before Kevin gets back to Laurel. Yes, this is Anna Devane here. I'm trying to arrange a phone hookup to the special police DB line. I need to speak to the sheriff's office in Laurelton, South Carolina. It's very important. Will you make this top priority? This is an emergency. Yes. Okay, thank you. With the operator, she will call us back whether she can make Great, we're just going to stand here and do nothing. I said we walk to Laura. So we can't just run out. Why can't we? we got to do something. We've got to stay cool and figure out what our best course is. Uh, Jake is right. We have got time. They are not together. Kevin is not in Laurelton. He doesn't know we're on to him yet. Now, as long as they are apart, she is safe. Oh, fabulous. Hey. The lights are going out. Yeah. Well, what's this kid? The hurricane party? No. I just got back from work. Well, 
how is everything? You tell me what's going on. She has a right to know. Know what? Something's obviously wrong with it, Terry. She might be in danger. Because of the storm? Because of Kevin. Of Kevin. Come on, Jake. What are you talking about? It's true. Jake, come on, huh? Kevin is not a murderer. He did a brilliant job of convincing us that he is. Jerry is in love with Kevin, and you got him off. You just proved I that Kevin did not murder Jennifer. I made Jennifer. a mistake. No, no, no. Okay, no. Not possible. Anna was right this whole time. She saw a suspect and saw that he was guilty. Kevin is not guilty. Anna, come on. What kind of lie are you coming up with? Bobby, listen to me. No, you listen to me. She has been hounding Terry and Kevin and Patrick for months. Every week she thinks somebody else is the killer. Bobby! I'm the one that stumbled onto the truth. Frisco and I now know that Lucy Cole lied, that it was all part of Kevin's plot. So they could be tried and found innocent and couldn't be tried again. It's called double jeopardy. You remember? You remember when I went upstairs to Kevin's bedroom? To close the window, I found this paper hidden behind some wallpaper. Once a man is tried, he cannot be tried again once he's found innocent. We need proof. We need the law book of the paper. We looked all over the public library. The book isn't there. Well, where is it then? Oh, perfect. All right, all right. Hang in there. I got some blanks. I'm going to make sure this place is locked up tight. I'll be right out. Okay. I'll give you a hand down here. Why don't you check the door? behind Kip. I'll accept you. Because it didn't do much good if we say we're wrong, does it? It's enough. So what are we going to do? If Kevin is the murderer, what stop him from going after Terry? We're working on that, Bob. Well, we got to protect her. Terry's all right for now. Jake, you can't possibly know that. I think we ought to get in touch with her right Bobby, away. Bobby. All the lines are down in Laurel. Can I spoke to Terry yesterday. Kevin's out of town. He won't be back for several days. Kevin is in Laurel. What are you Laurel? talking about? that he ever left. How, how do you know this? Because I talked to Terry on the phone yesterday. She told me that he was there. Okay. And at the time, she told me not to, t not to tell anybody about it, but I'm beginning to realize that Kevin must have told her to keep a secret. Right, this changes everything. Everything. Okay. All bets are off, okay? Is there any way you can get us out of here to Laurel from now, Anna? you got to pull some strings. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something. I'll try and contact the police helicopters. That'll get us to New York anyway. Do you know the airport's closed? Well, I'd like to see them try to stop us from landing. A woman's life is in danger, and as far as I'm concerned, that opens any airport under any circumstance. No, no, sir. No, you are the one who does not understand. This is Chief Police Anna Devane here, and I am calling to request permission for one of our police helicopters to take off from Fort Charles Airport tonight. Yes, well, our, de our destination is New York. Yes, yes, I am aware that we are in the middle of a hurricane. I didn't just run around. 
right, sir. If you cannot grant me permission to take off, I want you to put somebody on the phone who will, please. Now. I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to rescue Cherry. I am going with you. You can't go with us. I want to go to Warrington. No, it's, it's, this is up to Anna, Bobby. I'm worried sick about Cherry. She's married to a murderer. She doesn't know it. Bobby. I cannot think All we can do is hope that Kevin has no reason to get rid of you. And what motive do you think he had for killing Jennifer? I don't know. But if he did, he's certainly not going to hesitate to kill Cherry. I'm not going to tell you again that I don't care about the weather, sir. This is a police matter of the utmost urgency. I, I don't have time to argue with you. All right, I'm going to put it to you this way. I am taking off from Port Charles tonight, with or without your clearance. Is that understood? And the first person who tries to stop me is going to be arrested for obstructing justice. Is that clear? Good. We got it. Clearance? Yes, finally. Well... How did you manage that? I pulled pull the final string, it seems. When do we leave? They are readying the uh, helicopter right now. However, there is one problem, and that is that it can only take two passengers. And that has to be Jake and I. I'm sorry. Don't well, you worry. can't get a bigger yes. copter? I mean, what well, about no, me? Not, not not get Harry back safe. Don't worry have got that. this one. At least I can answer the phone. Hello. Oh, yes, operator. Yeah. Well, she's right here. Okay. Looks like we're in business. They can pick up the CD. Yeah, they're going to connect you to the Laurel Open office with the sheriff as soon as they can. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask the sheriff to put Terry under protective custody immediately. Well, I just hope it isn't too late. She's going to be all right. As soon as the sheriff knows who the real murderer is, then he'll keep Kevin and Terry apart. Okay, what if Terry wigs out and doesn't go along with the sheriff? Well, then she'll just have to be thrown into a cell. Hello? 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 On the radio, I thought it was the sheriff. I told him everything. Kevin knows where I told him. No. No, we, we don't know how much he heard. There was an awful lot of static on No, we have to assume the worst that he heard everything. It just makes it all the more important for us to get to Laurelton as quickly as possible. Well, let's go. Wait, I have to arrange for someone to look after Robin. Where is she? She's at the hospital in pediatrics. All right, I'll pick her up and I'll keep her here. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Anna, please, save Terry. We'll do our best. We all set? Yes, we are. Wait. There's no point in hurrying until we know if the helicopters are ready. Well, how long is this going to take? We'll just have to sit here and wait and be very calm. Well, Kevin, decide what his next move is going to be. Look, come on. Now that he's blown his cover, he's got to be all the more cautious. Or even desperate. Kevin wouldn't dare hurt Terry now. He doesn't have that much time. We're going to be in Norton very soon. And if he tries anything... Hot on 
the police cars are here. They're ready to take us All to the right, airport. All right, let's do it. How soon do you think you'll get to Laurel, huh? As soon as the helicopters and the charter train get us there. Anything we can do from here? Yes, actually there is. Will you keep your eye on Lucy Coe, but make sure she doesn't know we suspect her. Right, Don't worry. I won't. I have complete confidence in you. You just keep calling Terry. The sooner you can warn her, the sooner she can get away from Kevin. I just hope she believes me. You make her believe you. Jake, 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 the car's waiting for us. We'll bring her back safely. 